What's going on YouTube? Dave Bay from Bay Films Media back with another video. In today's video, we're talking about the Glocal Mies, who they're for, plus Q&As at the end, so stay tuned. For starters, I've been using Glocal Me since 2017. I first purchased the U3 for my travels into Italy and Germany. I needed a Wi-Fi device that'll keep me connected back home. It was my first experience using a wireless hotspot. After using a Glocal Me, I really found this product very viable and I continued to buy more as they came out through the years. So I had the U3, the G4 Pro, the Dual Toro, the mini dual toro and i'm actually in the process about to purchase one of the newer 5g models so i can test that out i want to talk about who this device is for and who is not for i have two videos on youtube right now about the global me and this is what's motivating me to create this uh, video i'm gonna leave a link to those two videos that you can check those out as well and in these videos i have over 40,000 views collectively and a bunch of comments so i kind of want to like answer a lot of the comments and questions and concerns that people have as well as explaining who I believe this device is for and who is not for. And I also want to talk about my experience using them and how I use them. What is the Glocal Me? The Glocal Me is a Wi-Fi hotspot. It allows you to connect up to 10 to 15 devices depending on which model you choose. This is great for local travel and international travel. The best thing about the Glocal Me that I found is its ability to have cloud sim and ability to put a physical sim. But I haven't had any success using the local sim cards like putting T-Mobile. T-Mobile I was getting 2G speeds. The Google Fi, it wasn't working. Uh, I had, and I don't think the, uh, I had the order. It was, it was very cumbersome to try to get the device to work. I've only tried this on the U4 Pro because it has the screen and you can actually access the APN settings, whereas the other ones you can't access the MPAs in APN settings. Yeah, so the CloudSum, what makes the CloudSum very powerful is that over 140 countries they have services in. So with the CloudSum, this means that you don't have to go to the local area and buy a SIM. You don't have to buy one before you go. You can simply just use the cloud and buy the service package to whichever area you are visiting. I'm from the US, so if I was to visit Spain or Morocco, these places I've been, what I do is I go beforehand and I purchase a data plan. The data plans activate once you get inside of the actual area that the coverage is able to jump off of the towers. So that's good. So meaning you can purchase it on a Monday and if you're not flying out to Friday, you're fine and it'll automatically activate once you get into the, the, the area that, you, that you're in. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature that it does that as well. My understanding of how the Glucomy works is it jumps off of whatever available tower is in the area. And this makes this even more flexible than purchasing a dedicated service provider like T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, or whoever your wireless providers are. Because if you have T-Mobile, then you're only going to be good in T-Mobile areas. If you go into an area where T-Mobile isn't, you know, the dominant tower and there's Verizon there, then you're going to struggle. But Glocal Me is going to jump off whatever tower is in the area, giving off the best signal. And one of the good things about the Dual Toro is that this is constantly monitoring all the towers, jumping off the best signal in the area. So that's what separates the Dual uh, Toro turbo versus you know maybe like uh this global me or the g4 or any of the other ones. regardless if it's using the dual technology or not all of them are going to jump off of the best tower in that area this makes it good for local travel as well so my cell phone purpose is at&t so if i'm in an area where at&t isn't the greatest and this t-mobile is in the area then I can actually just throw on my Glocal Me. It'll hop off of the T-Mobile tower that's in the area, and then I'll have like you know the best possible internet that I can have. That's what's good about having a wireless hotspot that uses a cloud sim like Glocal Me versus another hotspot that uses that is dedicated to a certain company. So I do have a 5G uh, T-Mobile hotspot, and I'm going to talk about the comparisons between something like the. 5G, T-Mobile, or AT&T local hotspots where you can just pay like a monthly fee of like $40, $50 a month versus a prepaid where you're paying maybe $10, $15 for like two gigs and the difference in that. And this is going to help you determine if this device is for you or not based on a lot of the questions that I get. So the pros and cons of using a prepaid service like Glocal Me versus a contracted service. One, the pro of having a contracted service is you're going to have like that unlimited data 
right? Well, my particular pan, I have up to 100 gigs uh, unlimited. After the 100 gigs, I think it's tethered down. And I pay about $45 a month. To have 100 gigs on this is going to cost extremely a lot more than just the $50. And this is where the pros and cons come to weigh in. And this is where you're also going to determine if this device is right for you or not. If you're looking for something that's going to give you unlimited access, where you're not worried about your data being capped off relatively because of the 100 gigs, but you know, the, you know what I mean? If you're not worried about, if you don't want to be worried about paying all that money for prepaid because you'll run out of your burn through your gigs, especially with streaming and trying to gaming and all that uh, kind of thing, you probably will want something like you know, a dedicated line that you play monthly, $50 a month, so you can have unlimited data versus a prepaid plan like this. This is where one of the questions I got was, hey, is this device good for gaming? Now, you can 100% connect to your game with one of these devices. Um, it has up to 4G speeds, and the new device coming out has 5G speeds, so you definitely shouldn't have a problem with that. The thing is, you won't, you'll be burning through your data very quickly playing you know gaming so i don't recommend this for a gamer unless you're in an area where you absolutely can't get no service and you really want service and you really want to pay and money is not an option this will 100 work for you glocal me will 100 work for you you'll be paying a fortune but it will 100 work for you so who is this for this is for the traveler who is it not for is not for the streamer or the gamer now if you are a traveler and you travel in different countries and you want to stay connected this device is the best device because a device like this is only going to get you pretty much good locally and then it's also still limited to the company that is with meaning this is t-mobile it's only limited to the t-mobile network so if i go in the area where t-mobile sucks this will suck and it doesn't pretty much work for me whereas though global me is going to always work because it's going to jump off whatever tower works so it's why this makes this a good travel companion and traveling to other countries and traveling locally when your local network is not working so much so if you have a cell phone and you're with t-mobile at&t and you're in an area maybe in bad area mountain range or something like that and that tower just not working this will help you keep stay connected locally. Although I don't really have that much problem traveling locally because I can always pretty much get away with my AT&T because my cell phone is AT&T and this hotspot is T-Mobile. So locally, I don't travel with my local me as much as I used to. The only reason why I actually have this is I use this for work because um, I'm uh, video production and I do live streaming and I use this as a backup or sometimes as my main live stream unit if we can get signal. So now that I have this and I'm paying it per month, I use this now. But prior to this, I would always use my Google Me. Internationally, I'm 100% taking this. T-Mobile, I'm not even sure if that can even travel internationally. I'm in the US, maybe Canada and Mexico may work, but I don't know, outside of that, it probably won't work, which is why I have the Google Me. Now, my experience using the Google Me and the different places I took it and how I used it was, one, I used it for business travel. When I traveled to Italy and Germany, I was there away for months. This was a lifesaver. It kept me connected back home. I was able to connect it with my iPhone, I, meaning I was able to send text messages over the Wi-Fi. I was able to make FaceTime calls back home, FaceTime video, and FaceTime audio if I wanted to use phone calls, as well as still being connected to the internet via social media platforms, emails, etc. I've also used this for leisure travel. I've used it in Spain. I used it in Morocco. I've used it in Mexico. I used it in Bahamas. Travel to a bunch of different islands. A lot of some of these, um, I would say islands, my cell phone provider actually provided like a roaming service. So if I had a roaming service with my phone where like I would have like unlimited coverage, I pay $10 a day, I would use that. Outside of that, if my cell phone didn't have coverage, then I would bring my Glocal Me with me. The Glocal Me does not work on the airplane. I've tried three different models. I'll try every one I get, but so far they do not work on the airplane. This is basically your own personal hotspot. You can keep your data secure. So when you're out and about, at your hotels instead of using the wi-fi in the hotel you can use this when i've traveled to another country i will use the hotel wi-fi or maybe the cafe wi-fi but when you start moving around like when we're doing tours or excursions or simply just nomading around meaning you just go somewhere in the middle of a town and just you know exploring on your own having this with you is going to keep you connected and having this able to let me connect to the gps and get to my destination and i usually purchase a two 
or a three gig plan to start, which usually will last me, you know, three days. Like a gig will usually last me a day. Just using it for socials, maybe call and FaceTime and text messages like that. I don't use this for like watching YouTube or, you know, trying to stream things. So those eat data. If I can do those when I get back to the hotel or maybe from my phone or something at, at the hotel, but I don't use that for this. This is strictly to keep me connected to the world when I'm traveling at a good price and prepaid at any country. And that's how you want to use this device. I recommend that you use this device to make phone calls, FaceTimes, text messages, go on your social media via that's Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, checking emails, just keeping yourself connected to the world. I don't recommend this for streaming on PlayStation or trying to run Netflix or, uh, you know, YouTube even, you know, those things are stream heavy and they'll eat up your data. And simply when if you're in a mood and you're traveling for leisure and you probably don't even want to do those things anyway. Now let's get into some questions that are commonly asked so that I can uh, get those questions answered for you guys. Some of these questions I may already answer in the video, but I'm just going to run through them. So hotels, my ex uh, about using the hotel with a PlayStation and how much would the data going to be? The data would be a fortune. Um, where do I pay as you go? So to pay as you go, there is an app. You download the Glocal Me app and you're able to top up and refill your um, data plan. You can even you can even purchase a refill card, which I've never done. I usually just purchase the data directly, which you go into the uh, app and you actually can see every country, United States, Mexico, ETC. They even have like worldwide data plans where you can, which is another cool feature. You can actually purchase like worldwide where it covers actually a whole 140 and you can um you know not even worry about if you were you know bouncing around like hey one day i'm gonna be in france and i'm going to africa you know you wouldn't even have to worry about trying to switch different data plans if you know you're gonna move around a lot like that if you like a super nomad so that's really cool so you can actually purchase data per country per continent like or per globe so like you have a lot of options and i like to weigh my options because sometimes you can actually find a better deal globally than locally meaning let's say that to purchase data to purchase five gigs of data in the u.s is fifty dollars this is just for the united states but to purchase data in the whole north america which is canada united states and mexico is thirty dollars for five gigs and i would get you know the north america version versus just the united states data package if that makes sense can we install ways i'm not sure i don't think so um if you can the only one you probably be able to do it on is the g4 pro because it has a screen but i don't think it has an app to download so i'm gonna say no can you do a dual review sure i will do a dual review i actually meant to do one a long time ago does these work on planes? No, I already answered that. Don't work on planes. Uh, can you use this with an iPhone? Yes, you can use this with an iPhone. It says, I need one of these things. How much is the service? The service price, it all depends on the data package that you purchase. It's prepaid and it's pay as you go. And when you walk onto the app, you'll see how long the data plans will last. It'll say like 30 days, um, some are 365 days. Now, those time frames isn't like unlimited use. That just means if you purchase uh, five gigs, the moment you activate it, you have 30 days to use it. So, you know, make sure you see the duration of your data package that you pick. Some are 365, some will last whole year. Most last just 30 days, which is, you know, good for me because I only activate my data plans once I land in my destination. I get unlimited card is the hotspot unlimited. Now, I don't think they have an unlimited um, version, so I don't think they have an unlimited version, but they always have different deals, updates, and packages. Prices always change and vary, so you know, always check the app and check it out. You can, you know, see all the prices. Okay, it says, how does Global Me compare to Travel Wi-Fi? Both have very similar products. Who copied who? I'm not sure on that. Um, I did. I have seen other wireless companies very similar to Google Me, especially their U3. Their U3 was used by, I'd say, at least two other companies. This is, um, I believe this company is, this is a China company. So, you know, a lot of manufacturers over there, they probably produce the same, uh, you know, hardware and maybe even the same software. But I do say that Google Me is probably the best over all of them. Like as far as your website updates, uh, these things get a lot of updates 
um i've never used any of the other ones that are similar to that but speaking for global me they have updates regularly they release new devices regularly they always have deals on data plans and packages and their hardware is not that expensive you know to get their hardware is not that expensive to get it um and their service is pay as you go so you know you pay as much as you need when you know when you need it so this is this is very good very good device and very good service and the service has always been good to me and never really didn't have any problems with the services except one time when i was up deep in the mountains and everything like that my service was kind of going in and out which makes sense because it was just so far away from all cell phone towers it just didn't have a good spot that was the only one time i didn't uh have connection with the global me other than that always had connections with it and i've used it in a lot of different many places and scenarios uh does the u3 work inside an airplane no can this router use a local data sim please give me your advice uh i have data sim here in saudi arabia that's why i'm asking so yes, the Global Me does support local SIM. It has a SIM card slot that you can put your own SIM card inside. Now for me, I've tested T-Mobile, Google Wi-Fi, Google Fi, and, uh, and, and another cloud SIM. Um, I think I even tried AT&T, I'll also try AT&T too. I haven't had good success with the speeds. None of them were faster or more reliable than the local me. Again, this is my local cars that I tried um, and my local area is Philadelphia. So it may be different for you in whatever city, country, continent you are in. So you would just have to test that out for yourself. I recommend you purchasing a data plan locally and then enter it inside of the device and test it run a speed test um you go to speedtest.com and just do some speed tests. so um it does work i just didn't have a good success and i only tried it with the um g4 pro i haven't tried them with the other devices do you have a contract for the data when does it run out so i pretty much answered this already no contract is pay as you go and it runs out at said uh, duration when you purchase it. You'll see if it lasts for 30 days or if it lasts for 365 days. So most last 30 days. Uh, how do you change the password? You can change the password. You can change the password inside of the settings, inside of the global me. That's one of the first things I did was change the passwords. I'm curious about different data plans, how they offer, how fast uh, does it eat up the data? Does it eat up it super fast? Like your cell phone, hotspot data, I have to connect to a laptop. 10G goes up like smoke. That way I didn't hear you talk about that. Any vids on that? Um, I'm going to continue to surf and see what I get. Thanks. So they're basically asking me um, how fast does the data gets ate up? Um, so now one of the tricks that you can do when you are connected to the global me is go into the settings of your phone. Um, I did this on iPhone. I'm sure you can also do this on the Android. You go into the settings on your phone and you go to um, the background apps running. You turn that off because what the background app does is it's constantly like it's constantly searching for emails. It's constantly searching for your updates and notifications on your social medias. Um, every uh, so it's constantly pulling the internet when your phone is not even active. So when when I first started using my device, uh, that's what I used to do. I used to turn all the background app refreshing off. Um, so if I needed to like check my email, then I would just log into my email, swipe down and let it update itself or log into, you know, Instagram or Facebook and, you know, up, hit refresh, and update it myself instead of it automatically updating. Um, that can help you save data, but I really can't say how fast or how much it eats up. Uh, again, like the way I use my data is just for social media, text messages and FaceTime, FaceTime voicemails, you know, all these things, they don't take up a lot of data. I use it for the GPS and I've always, I never had a point where I was like, wow, my data just got ate up really fast. And a lot of times it's two of us on to the Wi-Fi. It's usually me and my wife. Other than that, the data does not get ate up that fast in my opinion, especially if you turn off the background at refresh. But however, recently I, I haven't actually been turning off the background refresh. For, um, the background at refresh when I've been using the device recently. So 
hope that can help you understand how the data gets hits up. Uh, just don't use no gaming or live streaming. You should, you should be fine. Can you use the hotspot for Thinkware U100 dash cam? So I don't know what Thinkware is, but if Thinkware is some form of dash cam that connects to the internet, then yes, you can use these devices to connect to the internet. I actually use uh, my Gokumi hotspot to power my, um, I have a mobile webcam that I use um, sometimes when I go to like hotels if you just want to like monitor your room when you leave you can put you know your uh, little webcam up and you can leave your local me there so it can be connected to the internet and then while you're away from your hotel your Airbnb you can still monitor you know what's going on in your room and a lot of them have motion detection so you know you'll be motion alerted um, so yeah it can work with cameras that can be connected via Wi-Fi so yep you can use it for that thanks for the view is there throttling for any of the data plans now I want to say no I have never experienced any throttling uh, with the data plan because this isn't usually throttling happens when you have like these unlimited plans and you go over a certain amount of data with prepaid you're kind of like paying for your data if you pay for five gigs you're getting five gigs at the 4G speeds or at, you know, they have a new 5G or you're going to get it at the speeds that your, your, your device can handle. So I don't think there's any throttling. I haven't experienced throttling. Um, whatever you purchase, that's the amount you're going to get at the speed you get. Um, so yeah, no throttling to my knowledge. So somebody said, um, they have an older version and they're getting, um, they're, and they realize that the data speeds are decent in the area and the location, but that, but with a newer device have a better hardware that would improve the data speed so uh, yes so like the u3 which is the original one i purchased um these newer devices like the dual toro turbo uh has new hardware and and if you look on their website they explain how it has two uh services searching at the same time to constantly keep you on the best network and i think they uh i think a lot of them moving forward has you know better performances in my experience from using all these devices they always worked all of them worked i never i didn't really feel like one was faster than the other uh again because i only use my i only use these devices for sending emails logging in social media facetime video calls facetime audio calls text messages these things don't require you know a lot of internet or upload speeds whereas you know if you all went to youtube or you're trying to game those require massive upload speeds so i don't use it for those devices so i never noticed any difference honestly with none of these devices they all seem to work the same they either work Cause we're because i'm getting internet or they don't work because you're just an area that you just it's just, just a dead zone the battery lights is awesome but the data plans are a bit expensive yes so relative to any kind of monthly plan these pre-placed pins will be expensive so like like i said i've you know i've seen plans on there for two gigs for fifteen dollars you know so if you relatively speaking you may say wow like fifteen dollars is you know you get that three four times that's only like eight 10 gigs but you know you got a device like you know you're paying 40 dollars a month and get 100 gigs one is way more expensive than the other so but you know depends on how you use it i use mine in a manner of traveling and a manner of just having backup internet you know to make sure i'm always connected so paying 15 dollars you know and know it's going to i'm going to be good you know when i travel somewhere you know it's it's not that big of a deal and i use most of the heavy lifting there when i'm in the hotel or i'm in a spot that has free wi-fi it's only when i'm traveling and i'm in an area that i'm not in an area with wi-fi but you still want to be connected to the world now if i know i'm going somewhere and i don't want to trust the internet and i need to do some work like you know sending some emails log on the website you know then i will probably purchase a bigger plan than maybe a two or three gig but i know how to manage my data so it'll last me for that duration you know if you just want to use secure internet and not use the wi-fi to make you know important transactions so you can always just use the wi-fi to hey, watch some movies on youtube but then you need to handle some business switch over to your global media and then use it and then once you're done with handling business switch back over to you know the free wi-fi and save your data so it's all about managing i think most 
the side effect investment is coming down to data calls. Uh, but a thrill after quickly glancing from nine clients, those calls seem high. I still think in my situation, this would be a good investment. And I am looking at some second hand options as well. Yeah, so yeah, so the data plans are expensive when compared to um, unlimited plans. But I think that the prices are fair if used moderately, you know, $30 lasts me three days, you know, three, four days, um, or even more. And, you know, if you're a traveler and you're planning a trip, you know, you're going to be gone for three to five days, you know, maybe spending $50 is a lot for a data plan, but it'll last you your whole trip. And you'll be, you know, fine. You know, now granted, you may pay $50 for a whole month with this, but you know, how much are you using it that month? Like, how much are you traveling? Are you traveling, you know, for that whole month and you're using it? You know, now if you're traveling, you know, now that could be an option for you. So if you're traveling and you're going to be in another country for a month for work, then maybe it, it definitely will be cheaper to like grab maybe a local sim with an unlimited plan for just, you know, that month and then maybe cancel. You only pay fifty dollars for the whole month. You'll be straight. The orange sum is cheaper than any package that Global Me offers for Europe, and it works in all countries. The G3 is still the best, um, longer battery life, but you can only do five devices. So that's very interesting. There, you know, the G4 Pro, the one I don't like. It does. It is the only one that you can type the APNs directly, and they're saying that. Um, Orange SIM, which is apparently a, a, a SIM card you can get in Europe, offers a lot more cheaper packages than Global Me does. So that may be an option for you if you're traveling to Europe or if you live in Europe. Maybe you can check out and look up Orange SIM. Uh, just my experience here using testing all the different local SIMs in my particular area and where I'm at here. It didn't work for me. Um, and also now that I have multiple devices, locally i don't really need a local me type of device locally so um but this is again like i said you know i don't like the build or form factor of the um the g4 because it feels like i have another cell phone if you drop this you know screen is cracked and ruined unless you put it in a case i don't like that these other devices man this one is like so good like the plastic is like hard plastic I, I feel like i feel like this drops i can just throw this in the bag put it in my pocket i'm not worried about it same thing with this this is like the same thing except it has a little screen so this is actually my favorite one it's just like it's just nice it feels good like this thing is light it feels feels like it's gonna break it feels cheap you know cheaper it's like a cheap android cell phone that's what this feels like and i don't like that feeling i like this like this this feels more premium but yeah, so um, hopefully I answered a lot of questions about the Glocal Me. Um, I'm also going to do maybe another video once I get the G4. Um, and I'll probably do a comparison between the Glocal, uh, the Dual Toro Glocal Me and the Turbo Mini. The Dual Turbo and the Turbo Mini. I'll do a comparison on these two just in case you're on the fence about which better, which one. Because I definitely have some opinions on these two. Um, so that's all for the video for today. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like, comment, subscribe as it helps the channel out and I'll see you in my next video.